Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I want to talk to you about what is now my favourite new piece of training equipment and that is parallel bars. These are very affordable, um, I think I paid uh, 30 to 40 quid for them which is about $60 probably, the uh, pound is crashing so I'm not sure exactly. Uh, and they're just as versatile as a pull-up bar, if not more so. They're awesome for all kinds of basic exercises and for uh, learning some pretty cool moves as well. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite exercises with them and hopefully by the end of this video you will be convinced to pick up a pair yourself. pretty easy to understand. They are bars and you stand them opposite each other thus making them parallel. They're very easy to stack. If you stand them like so, they don't take up much space at all. So you can just put them somewhere in your room, you can slide them under a bed. They're very easy to build. You just basically get these two bits and you attach them here. These ones are from Men's Health but I've seen plenty of other models. The most obvious thing you can do with these is dips. So you just hold on to the handles there and lower yourself. And the great thing about dips with parallel bars like these is that you can make the um, bars further apart or you can make them narrower. You can even have them kind of like this, make it more of a tricep exercise. We've got rocking dips, I like these. You dip down more on one side and then the other side in order to isolate and focus on that side of the body. Extend of, extended range of motion push-ups and of course any exercise where you're pointing downwards more or train the shoulders more by putting your legs higher up and pointing your body downwards slightly and like I said this is a full body workout tool or at least a full upper body workout tool and there's plenty you can do for your biceps too if you sit down here underneath, grab the handles, you can do neutral grip pull-ups. And if you lean your body back, then you'll be able to extend your arms the whole way. And go fully upside down if you so wish. Likewise, you can opt to use just the one side perform pull-ups like so. Again I'm rocking back to make my arms able to extend all the way which also places the emphasis nicely on the biceps. Of course you can do both overhand and underhand grip as well. And one of my favourite exercises is inverted push-up which is a pull-up where you keep your heels on the ground and you Pull yourself up like so. You've got shrugs, not your regular shrugs because the um, weight is coming from the other direction, but it's an exercise that gymnasts do. You've got your L sit and your V sit. You've got plenty of leg raise type exercises. I like to do regular leg raises, and again, once I can't do any more. I begin to do frog kicks, which are just bringing your knees up. Variations on that. There are plenty. Ugh. You've just got your uh, other variations on dips. Of course you can do one bar for a tricep dip. If you have a you know, bench or something that you can put your legs on opposite. But to get the very most out of these, what I recommend, what I always recommend with every exercise is that you use mechanical drop sets. Well, I always recommend drop sets. So a mechanical drop set means that you do a move that you find very hard and perhaps you can only do a few of, and then you move straight into something you find easier, thus allowing yourself to go past failure. So in this case, we might do as many dips as we can do, then we might do 
um, extended range of motion push-ups by putting our legs up on something. And then we might go straight into regular push-ups. And this allows us to keep on going even when our uh, muscles are fatigued. And that's how you uh, stimulate growth, create the micro tears and build strength. And this is great for doing that, for dropping down to different movements. Likewise, you could do some curls, some uh, pull-ups from the bars, neutral grip pull-ups, and then you could go straight into inverted push-ups. And that way, again, you've dropped down and managed to keep going past failure. Give that a try because that's what really creates a massive amount of burn. I'm also a huge fan of doing uh, mechanical drop sets within a single exercise. And the way I like to do this is, in this instance, I would do as many dips as I could do, and then say I'm starting to fail, what I do is touch my feet lightly to the ground and begin to put some of the weight onto my legs. Gradually, as I fatigue more and more, I start doing more and more of it with my legs. So it's like having an assistant in the gym, having a partner to spot you and gradually help you. My legs are gradually becoming more involved in the movement as my arms and my pecs are fatiguing. And so I can really squeeze out every last bit of effort until the point where I'm unable to use my arms at all. Again, the kind of burn you'll feel when you do that. You'll know it's working, give it a go. The reason I got them is to learn some cool moves. And I find this very exciting for doing things like handstands, learning planche, etc. See what I can do, shall we? Need to look up, need to hold it longer. But I'm getting there. And of course you can use it for handstands. Depending on the height of your ceiling, unfortunately. Oop, spare change. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's lots of uh, progressions you can use to get up to that point. Because most people, either you can't do a handstand press up or you can't do it well enough like me uh, to make it into a useful exercise that you can do on a daily basis. But there's loads of um, steps that you can get to before you get to there, which a lot of people will be able to use. And then they'll not only build up a lot more strength, but they'll also be able to develop those moves eventually. So an example of this is tuck planche, tuck planche. Is planche but where your body is in a tucked position and you can do um, handstand press up esque moves you know somewhere between planche and press up and one I like to do is just to rock the body this uses whew, the lats a lot I believe from this position to that one. I think that's a great um, exercise you can use to just build up to the point where you can do that sort of thing. Not blown away yet? Then what about using them as hurdles? <laughs> that was terrible. There's just so much you can do with parallel bars. I'm exhausted just from filming this video. I haven't even been doing a workout. They're fun, you can develop cool moves with them. And if you use them as part of a drop set, and especially if you combine them with other exercises, then they can give you a real brutal full body or full upper body workout. So I highly recommend these as a purchase. And in fact, I'd say they're as useful or more useful than a pull-up bar. And they're something I'd recommend that anyone at any level add to their collection. So. Hopefully this video has convinced you that this is a worthwhile purchase. And of course, if you don't want to get these, you can do a lot of the moves I've just shown you by pushing two chairs together, or even inside your bath. But yeah, that's a, that's a pain. I made a dipping station a long time ago by hollowing out the inside of a chair. But I just wanted you to consider some form of dipping setup for your home workouts. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If so, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing down the bottom and I'll catch you for the next one where I'll probably be talking about more fitness or perhaps psychology or nootropics or technology. 
because that's what I do here at the Bioneer. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.